Oh, I just spotted this satellite and uh, I don't know for sure, but it, it could be the space station. It looks like the space station is big enough and bright enough and it's got the right kind of movement up. Good morning and welcome to another episode of Escape the Echo Chamber with Neil's cat and Ben and this morning we are at Borndale Riverside Retreat I think it's called and uh yeah it's a pretty nice place it's on the lake at the back of uh Lake Awunga so uh we're gonna have a quick look around here and then we're gonna get up and go they reckon they can hold half a kilo but like they can probably hold about three kilos in the bin there, doing 100 k's down the highway for about 15 minutes, and it'll still be there. So we come up to the lookout, and they've got like the loo thing here to dump your loo in, and like, man, the view here is just epic. Ah, uh, we're uh, left that campsite now, and we've driven like halfway to Monto. And uh, we've gone past Yobobo and then crossed over the Bourne River, which is here. Water is just crystal clear and it's nice. And like, I've done my jeans walking around in here. And uh, yeah. But we like the Boyne River. It's, yeah. Uh, did you say Bourne, but it's Boyne, isn't it? Boyne. Bourne. Boyne. It's like B-O-Y-N-E. Boyne. And these gudgeons are just everywhere you look. You can't miss them. Oh man, imagine like 35 degree day, laying down under there in the shade, crystal clear water, a few gudgeons sucking on your toes. <laughs> yeah, even all this bit here is all like the overflow, I guess. And uh, just all the river rock and trees and everything that's washed down the mountain. And uh, even even all this bit is cool as. And we... Yeah, how cool is that little bloke? This bit here is just so nice. This is where I saw my catfish earlier. Um, see if he's still home. Yes, he is. He didn't eat any of the bread I left him either. Mm. There he is down there. See him? Right hey, there. Doesn't go far, does he? Nope. Nope. Mm. He looks like he's like a eel tail catfish, I think. He's really, really nice looking. Must be his home, eh? And he's probably like created that little patch of rocks there, eh? Right? Because there isn't anywhere else that looks like that. Yeah. I'd say that's like its nest or something. Because, like, it's been there for, like, well over an hour now just doing donuts in that little <laughs> area. Interesting. Because, yeah, there's definitely a habitat that he's, like, created, hey? Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely done that. Mm. Yeah, how mad's that, eh? That and, was uh, awesome. We better get off the road because I can hear we there's, can like, a car coming up here. All right. So, uh, welcome to Many Creeks. Apparently, there's a railroad dam here. So we'll go and have a look at that. But uh, the bigger concern is this. Uh, the road from here to Monto has this sign. Let's go see what this dam looks like though. Uh, so this says in 1912, uh, the population of many peaks exceeded the population of Gladstone. And like, wow, uh, they discovered copper here. And uh, they work continuously from 1910 to 1918. And then it says here, construction of a railway dam to supply water to the steam trains was initiated in 1910. And there's a picture of the dam there. And I haven't seen it yet, but we're just about to go over and have a look. One of them fire pits there, two-way. Gladstone Council do a mad fire pit. Wow. What a place, eh? Yeah, wow. This is wow, beautiful. Um, Deception Creek, I think it's called. And this is the railway dam at Many Peaks. Um, 
probably wouldn't want to tow your caravan or anything here because of like that sign that I showed you earlier, but uh, we'll find out how bad the road gets in a minute. And uh, well, in about 17 kilometers anyway. <laughs> see if we can get to Monto. All right, let's see if we can get over this mountain range. All right, so the sign was right. Uh, the road did turn. The Google said it was going to become a dirt road. And yeah, we're going like up over these ranges here somewhere. Like I've seen the kids at the skate park throw their, their sneakers up around the power lines and stuff. But yeah, this is where the tradition comes from, hey? From farmers hanging their boots and saddles up on the fences. Every one of these little creek crossings is epic. And then like just up the back of them is like the hundred year old uh, rain, uh, rail bridges as well. So like... It's so nice. Got to move, car coming. Right. So we've got to like the next little creek and like it's it's now the most like clear pristine creek I've I've ever been to like I could I could easy spend a day at like every little creek crossing we've gone over. I uh, wish we had a pump, eh? I just fill the tank up with this water today. Wow. Wow, I just want to live here somewhere in the in the mountains with the crystal clear creeks. It is uh so 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 beautiful. I'm going to end up with way way too much footage of this today. Oh, I wish I could just find a big barramundi sitting in here. I don't, know. I don't even know if they'll make it up this far, but yeah. Oh, man, it's so, so cool here. Wow, man, like, where do you stop? You, you could just walk along this all day, like, up into the mountains there. Wow, that's been about the 500th, like, mad creek crossing we've been over today. This road is just awesome, hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, it's sick. I wish I had the Datsun. <laughs> this be mad rally car road. Alright, so we made it to the start of the hill climbs and uh, now we'll see if the wombat can do it. And yeah, the creeks have all pretty much dried up. So I'd say it's because they're running out of the mountains here, like there's not as much water, I guess. This is closer to the source. Look at this climb up here. Yeah, I know. I know this is going to be a pretty epic drive, I reckon. Oh man, now I know why they say no trucks through here. Cause like if a truck come down this corner at the moment, I I don't know what had happened. <laughs> he he probably wouldn't stop. I probably wouldn't be able to get out of the way. And yeah, wow. So we're just like uh, cruising up here in second gear. Oh man, cattle grid right here. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> to think of one truck up here, let alone two. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, North Burnett. Yeah. Wow. This is a mad spot up on top of the ridge here. This is uh, the line between Gladstone and North Burnett. There's this massive big prickly pear here and a big ant's nest. So, so we've dubbed it prickly pear point. And, uh, <laughs> and this is all the mountain range that we've just driven through here. Scared of snakes, you wouldn't like hanging out with me. <laughs> now we're coming out onto this little point now. I 
Oh, you can see the road we come up down there. Whoa. Whoa, don't slip here. <laughs> and hopefully not too far to Monto. We haven't had like any phone reception all day driving through these mountains. So we have no idea how far there is to go. Oh, hang on, I've got it on me, whoops. How do you flip it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we made it back onto the tar over the range and like, yeah, that was awesome. We've just left the little town of Cow Cow. And uh, now we've got about 30 k's till we get to Monto. So yeah, that will probably be it for today. Go find some water and somewhere to sleep. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. But yeah, come down, check out uh, Route 69 and uh, don't get screwed over. <laughs> dun, 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 dun.